after 10 long years, the wait is over. We finally get to see it. We finally get to see Thanos and what he can do with the Infinity Gauntlet. And on this episode of Movie Breakdowns, I'm reviewing it, and it's gonna be all out the spoilers, Avengers Infinity War. What's up world, welcome to another episode of Movie Breakdowns. I'm your host Ali Zaka, and today I already talked about it. I'm gonna review it. I'm gonna review Avengers Infinity War. Yes, this is a spoiler. Spoiler, 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 spoiler. Spoiler alert. So if you don't wanna see any spoilers, then cut this video off, get in your car, and go watch the movie right now. So if you're near theaters, I don't care what time of the day is it, hopefully you're watching it at night, then schedule your movie appointment now. Get up in the morning and go watch it. Skip work, because it is worth it. Avengers is worth it. And before I jump into it, I just want to let you guys know, please give me a movie to review. Please put in the comment section below what you want me to review, and I'll get to it. All right, now let's do it. So, Avengers Infinity War. As I said in the opener, after waiting 10 years, we finally get to see Thanos. Finally get to see Thanos put the put in the work. We finally get to see what he's been doing. He's been teased in so many movies. We have seen him in Guardians of the Galaxy. We have seen him in the first Avengers. We have seen him scattered throughout. We have heard of him. Now we get to see what he can do. And what he can do is a lot. Like this guy comes out with his crew and it immediately kicks off with him getting rid of Loki, Heimdall, almost trying to get rid of Thor. He got pretty much rid of most of that gar as Guardians. Also put like put the work in on the Hulk. Like the Hulk could not do anything against him to the point where the Hulk no longer like appeared in the movie. It's pretty much Bruce Banner or Mark Ruffalo in this movie after the Hulk got got those hands from Thanos. And this movie, I do want to mention, a lot of people die. A lot of people die. But before I jump into who dies, I do want to mention that in the storyline, it holds up. Like, it was such a well-written movie. Like, I can't believe it. With so many cast and characters from the Guardians, from Spider-Man to Doctor Strange, from Iron Man, the Avengers, Black Panther and Wakanda, like there are so many places and so many things going on in this movie. Thor, like I just can't, it's so many. From all these movies, they somehow made it like come together. It was well directed, well written. Whereas times where the Guardians would meet like the Avengers and the Guardians are more of a comedic group. They're a comedic movie, it's more comedy. But that was, they was able to take that comedy and put it into this movie and not make it distract from the movies. Like when, the Avengers like Iron Man, Doctor Strange, Spider-Man meet the Guardians, it didn't distract. Peter Parker's modern day references and Star-Lord's like past references didn't clash with each other. It actually mixed and integrated into a really good movie. It was done really well. And the characters who are serious, like Captain America, Vision, Scarlet Witch, those characters, the serious characters kept a serious tone to the movie. And you felt the serious tones in the movie. When you got to the Guardians, you got the comedy and the relief. Drax the Destroyer is phenomenal in this movie. His jokes and quips are on point. But, for example, Glamora and Thanos and the Red Skull in this movie, that serious scene was very serious and it made you feel something when Thanos had to give up Glamora, spoiler alert, spoiler alert give up Glamora uh, in order to get the Soul Stone. Like, it, it was a sad moment and the movie made you feel the sadness. Like, it... It's a really good movie. I can't can't really say how good it was. I believe the Russo brothers. Let me double check that. Yes, the Russo brothers did a phenomenal job writing this movie. I can't say any more about it because how great it was. Like they even kept things out of the commercials, like stuff you thought was gonna be in the movie, like oh the vinyl clash at the end and everybody's running together in the jungle to face the bad guys. Yeah, you didn't get that scene in this movie. I was expecting the Hulk to come out. He never came out in the end. But yet, in the commercials, you saw the Hulk running towards with the group towards everybody. You didn't get to see that. The movie was able to keep, once again, like Thor, was able to keep it all contained. They didn't give you too much in the commercials. They didn't show you that much in the commercials. You saw the main bits and pieces, but the movie pretty much kept everything else as is. Like, you thought Dr. Strange was going to die from the commercial and yet the scene that you saw him in the commercial was not really the same scene you saw in the movie. Awesome. Loved it. Speaking of deaths, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of people die in this movie. A lot of people die from Black Panther to Winter Soldier. You got the Falcon, 
Doctor Strange, Spider-Man, Tom Holland's death in this movie was really well written. Like, the longevity of it, of Peter Parker saying, I don't feel good, and then hugging Iron Man and pretty much watching him die off was crazy. Like, it was really well. Vision, Scarlet Witch, Nick Fury, Loki, as I mentioned earlier. Oh my gosh, the Guardians of the Galaxy besides Rocket pretty much all get killed. It, it was good. It was really good. Heck, I, I man, I just yeah, we watched this movie. I'm probably gonna rewatch it multiple times because of how good it is, and you should go rewatch it if you haven't done so, or at least go watch it now because it's really good. So characters, this movie had a ton of characters. I can't hit everybody, but everybody pretty much did a fantastic job. Now, people, I do want to point out, for example, Dave Bautista as Drax, his comedic quips and him just being goofy in this movie is hilarious. There's a point where the Guardians are looking for Gamora and they come across the Avengers and like Star is asking, where's Gamora? I believe Iron Man, yeah, Iron Man retorts and goes, who's Gamora? And then Drax, who's like being held by Iron Man, if not Doctor Strange, goes, I'll do you one better. Why Gamora? For what a reason, it's just, it's just a goofy line. Or Drax eating these chips really slowly, pretending to be invisible by staying there for hours on end, which he's not. He's perfectly, like, visible. You can see him, but he's like, if he moves really slowly, it's like he's never there. Just hilarious. Tom Holland as Spider-Man, he did a fantastic job, and him bouncing off of Peter Quill, who's played by Chris Pratt, those guys had like a funny moment where Peter Quill goes, wait, is Footloose still one of the greatest movies of all time? And you just hear Tom Hall in the background goes, it never was. Just a goofy, goofy little line there. And Peter Quill, I should say Star-Lord, heck, Chris Pratt reaction to the whole movie. He's one of the guys that had a, the typical superhero trope scene where the bad guy's beaten down. They almost finished it off. But that one hot-headed good guy always messes it up from Vegeta to... I can't think any other character in any other cartoon or movie who messes up by trying to take a shot at the bad guy and end up causing everybody to pretty much get beat up. He had this in his movie. He did such a good job, though, because Peter Quill, he loses Gamora, his girlfriend. He has lost his mom. He has lost his dad. He's gone through a lot. So when he sees Thanos and he almost got Thanos beat, he decides to interject and his anger takes over as well-written character should like anybody in his situation will probably react the same way you're not thinking logical you're thinking in the moment so he loses his mind but throughout the whole movie peter quill and what he did and the struggles he went through what chris pratt displayed as peter quill was phenomenal he did a great job in this movie i love it thanos who is played by josh borland great voice actor great dude i i think he did his job perfectly he expressed if he did the mechanical things like the CGI mechanical things, he did it perfectly. The facial expression of Thanos was really well written. It actually made you um, almost like understand where Thanos was coming from in this movie. Thanos pretty much wanted to rid people of like hunger and rid the world of over infestation because he didn't want people to see, see people die of hunger and struggling. But at the same time, he's killing off half the universe, which he's committing genocide and mass murder try to benefit the universe like it was his ideals was like he didn't want to see people suffering but he went about it the wrong way just like how Killmonger and Black Panther went about the solution the wrong way as well you know where he came from you can see why he why he had this mentality which Marvel's done a good job with two back-to-back -back villains and two back-to-back -back movies where their ideological their ideals came from reason like not I just say reason, but you've seen where it came from. You've seen that, oh, because his people suffered because it was over and populated and they died of thirst and hunger because everybody else, is, there's too many people. That's why he wanted to do this to prevent the whole universe from suffering like he did. Just like Killmonger who saw what happened to his people and saw what happened and he didn't want people to suffer no longer like how he did. It made sense. It wasn't something just like, I want to rule the world because I'm a bad guy. Loved it. And Thanos wins. The bad guys win this movie, and this movie theater I was in was stunned silent walking out. Everybody walked out just in cold silence. It was like people were trying to digest what happened. Kind of like, it made me think of when Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back came out in theaters back in the day, and I had a feeling 
Everybody else in that theater must have the same reaction because the bad guys won. You never see the bad guys win. It's really rare to see a bad guy win. And had that happened, like people were silent. People didn't understand, like, oh my gosh, good guys lost, but are they coming back? How are they going to come back? What's going to happen? Thanos, what is he doing? Why is he chilling? Did he win? What did he do? People lost their minds. And it was phenomenal. It's a great movie. What more can I talk about? It's such a great movie. Um, before I go to grading time and she go watch this movie in theaters, if you haven't figured out those answers, I don't know. But, great, I don't say, say grading time. There's one more thing I want to mention. Doctor Strange and Tony Stark's conversation, their interaction with each other was so good. Because Tony and Doctor, they both had the same mentality in a sense. And it was so good. They played off each other so well. And they didn't like each other, you can tell. But it just worked out so well how they didn't like each other. But it it made it work. It was a good movie. Oh, God dang it. It's a good movie. Go see this movie. Go see this movie. So, is this a movie you should see Friday nights? Yes. Get, get in your car right now. I don't care if it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Go watch this movie. It's so good. Grading time. I'm going to give Avengers Infinity War a solid A. A solid A. It's a great movie. Worth watching. Like, it's, it's a good movie. I can't say much more about it. It's great. All right, thank you guys for watching this episode of Movie Breakdowns. I really appreciate it. Please leave a comment below what you think of Avengers Infinity War. Avengers Infinity War. Avengers. Avengers Infinity War. And please leave a like, subscribe, follow, share. And thank you guys so much. See you next time on the next episode of Movie Breakdowns. Keep being awesome. Thank you guys for watching this episode. I really appreciate it. Please like, comment in the comment section below. And please subscribe for more episodes of Grind Twitch Success, movie breakdowns, or whatever it is if you're watching on my channel. I have different stuff from interviews to other movie reviews to wrestling reviews. If you're a wrestling fan, please, please subscribe if you want to see all that and see what's going on. Also, you can follow me on Snapchat here. Follow me on Instagram there to see what I'm doing my personal life as well as my business and Ninja Warrior. And lastly, you can watch the last episode of Grind Tour Success here. You can watch the last episode of Movie Breakdowns there. Thank you guys once again. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Keep being awesome.